day three of the Nashville Migos Guitar Show. And uh, tell you what, I am beat. I'm ready to get back home. <laughs> but we'll look and see what's happening today. I'm not sure the significance of this, other than there's a 1952 bass. It was played by somebody, and it's all the documentation that was played. It's pretty cool. I bought it from the original owners. That's cool. I know I say it's cool a lot, but it is cool. Some yeah. beautiful acoustics there. It's like some other cool stuff over here. What the heck is that? How many hands do I need to play that? Some lap steels. Ooh, what do we have here? Jim's guitars always has some really cool stuff. There's no doubt about it. Jim always brings the best of the best to all the shows. Morning. How are you? Other than the Nuno Betancourt Washburn guitars, when did the rest of the lines guitars become valuable? One thing I will say about this show is stuff is really inflated. I don't know what's going on with the market, but everybody thinks your stuff is worth a lot. Well, it looks like somebody took their frustration out on this uh, guitar in the custom shop. Yeah, they definitely beat it up, all right. Now here's a reasonably priced guitar, although it's made overseas, but it's priced right. I wonder if this guitar comes with cues on what chords to play at the right time. Bad monkeys. Oh, they're in the wild. Look at these. Oh. Man, that's got to be worth $50,000 at least. Where did you find those? Oh my God. Lamar, you are the man. Pre Rock Pedals has two. Bad monkeys. They're only $25,000 a piece. Today is a lot slower than yesterday. It was a uh, pretty busy day yesterday here in the arena, but today. It's slower, but we'll see what happens. This is something we do not see every day. 
you open up this place. Yes. Can I please touch it? Uh, we'll help you with it if you need something. Can I just touch it? I'm shaking so bad I can't believe it. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the lucky dog guitars. Pretty cool. end of the day here in Nashville on the last day as you can see there are some booths starting to clear out and uh, that means dealers are going home they're going home early some did not have very good shows we had an okay show I wouldn't say we had a great show by any means not one of our better shows out of the three shows that we've done this year this is probably the worst um, and I can't say that in a bad way. I mean, it was a bad show, but it was not one of our best ones. So it did not compare to the Asheville or the, the uh, Orlando show. So those guys will be happy to know that. But there also were a lot more dealers there for both those shows, and there also were uh, a lot more people. The attendance for those two shows were a lot more than these two shows, or this one show. So. Yes, it's clearing out slowly but surely. We're not closed yet either. You used to, you're supposed to stay here to the end, but there are people packing up and leaving. And even this guy is packing up. I'm not packing up. Oh yeah, you are. What, what are those boxes? Oh, this is just my back stock, my friend. Oh, you got all that's back stock. Yeah. You got so much, so, and you dressed up today. I'm glad. Oh, he always has. I know. He's always styling, profiling. He wants to give Ric Flair a bad name. Woo. Well, another <laughs> show is wrapped up. We're going to head out of here. Uh, as you can see behind me, everybody is loading up and getting the heck out of Dodge and head towards California, uh, Carolina, Florida, me. And uh, actually, I saw one other dealer actually from Florida. And uh, Texas, all over the place. Japan. <laughs> Can't forget about Tenanashi, who is here and uh, Boston Guitar Smiths. So uh, anyways, we're out of here. Guys, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and become part of the channel. Until next time from Nashville, we'll see you next time on the channel. Only got two more guitars to go and all the pedals and we will be loaded up. There's some dealers haven't even started packing up, but most everybody around us, even Jimmy Wallace over here, he's all packed up and ready to go. Well, kind of. So, Nashville will be done and we'll be on the road again. Yeah, even though it's the last thing of the show, Bruce had to get the last buy of the show. Had to buy an amplifier. I bought it from my son. Who you loves... didn't. You bought it to turn it. I know. No, you... I didn't. I bought yeah. it for Andrew, who loves orange amps. Yeah. So I'll bring it to his house tomorrow night or Tuesday after he gets home from right. school. He's going to sell it. 125 well, I, I paid what it was worth. Right. We'll see. <laughs>